Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Brogue. I'm going to record myself participating in the Brogue Weekend Contest number 320. Uh, as you can see here, the seed number is here on the uh, subreddit. And uh, this is what I'm supposed to get when I go to that seed. Uh, so here we go. Let's play Brogue. And that does look similar to what I saw here, so I must have copied and pasted the seed number correctly. So here we go. The question will be, how will I do? Because I don't always do so well at Brogue. I'm not nearly as good at Brogue as I am at NetHack. I think Brogue is harder. AIS disagrees. Alex Smith, the guy behind NetHack 4, he disagrees. And he's better at both games than I am. And he thinks that Brogue is easier. But I don't know what he's smoking. I think Brogue is a lot harder to win anyway. I have never managed it. Uh, and I've spent way more time at this point playing Brogue than I had spent playing NetHack the first time I ascended it way more um and i've learned a lot more um well no that's not true i haven't learned more about brogue than i've learned about nethack but i've learned a lot more tactic strategy type stuff than i have about nethack uh or had at that point anyway but somehow i'm still not good at it um But we'll see how I do. What's the worst that can happen? What could possibly go wrong? Right? Okay. All right, what have I got? Uh, oh, there's an unexplored area yet. Oh, I should have tested that staff on that Cobalt there, oh well. Ah, here's another chance. It is a staff of blinking. That's a useful object. Not something you're going to base a build on usually, but a useful object for almost any build nonetheless. It's not very situational. I mean, okay, it's somewhat situational in that it won't help you in every single situation, but it's... Um, not the sort of thing where you go, well, unless you also have a this or a this, it's no good to you at all. It's not like that. Um, uh, Staff of Blinking is good for almost any build. I'm sure somebody will think of an example of a build that it wouldn't really help that much. But, uh, but in general, it's good for just about any build. Just a generally useful item. Okay, so I'm running around picking up whatever I find on the early levels. Why am I bothering to go out of my way for gold? I have this pack rat tendency to pick up every single thing no matter what it is. And I need to fight that because it's not conducive to winning... Um, even in NetHack, if you pick up every Atlas and every everything, which I don't, um, but uh, but in Brogue particularly, the inventory limits are so harsh and there are no containers that it's just not conducive to playing well to pick up every single thing. You have to learn what is worth carrying and what is not. Um, I'm going to go to the stairs. Stairs are really good for dealing with conjurers. 
They're not the only way to deal with them, but they're one of the best ways if you happen to be close to stairs or be able to get to stairs. Uh, and I had blinking and was not that far, so I was able to get there. Is that a... Okay, that's not a, a statue trap entry, so this is probably a shattering vault, vault then. Uh, and I am not going to attempt to identify scrolls this early um, because, among other things, I do not know what I want to enchant yet. And I would hate to, um, you know, um, have to make a, a rushed decision on that on dungeon level 3. Uh, it's just not conducive to winning. Oh, that was interesting. Okay. Um, how am I going to get over there? Okay. Um, okay, he's going to all right, that scroll I will pick up again later. Right now, let's go this way. No, let's go this way. I just want to get back up to the level above where I was in the first place. There's a scroll there I didn't notice before. Okay, I'm going to have to... What else? There we go. Threw some things down, because I don't want to start identifying potions quite yet. Um, I'll have to soon. But I want to... Um, in case I get detect magic early, I want to start identifying potions when I have as many things as I can have. So I like to put it off a little bit. Um, you can't put it off too far because by dungeon level 6, you need something that will help you get past some of the enemies that start showing up there. That's interesting. This isn't just nested vaults because there's no key here. All right, I have blinking. So what is my best thing to take? from here. Let me back up so I don't see the one that's not here. Uh, Firebolt is only slash 2. Lightning is slash 3. Discord is only slash 2. Let's take the lightning slash 3 for now. Um, but I may change my mind about that after I find out what my other available items are. Because Firebolt and Discord are both useful enough that even at Slash 2, I might take them depending on what my other options and other equipment are. Healing and Haste are only useful uh, in an ally-heavy build, which is an unlikely configuration for me because I don't like allies that much, and I tend not to go for them unless there's a good, solid reason to. Okay, um, oh right, there's the Shattering Vault, that's the other one. You know what, let's take the shortcut down so we can avoid the jelly. Um, 
And at this point, we're going to have to start identifying potions on this level. So I'm looking for a good location to do that. Um, Okay, um, this is not a horrifically bad place here. Strength. Notice I'm starting with duplicate potions, that's just common sense. Um, if I want to carry all the stuff I dropped down. Okay, I got detect magic. That is why I wait. <laughs> so that I can detect magic on as many things as possible. Alright, the rapier is cursed, so I'm going to drop it. The scale mail is safe, so I'm going to wear that and drop the leather. It was called, so... Let me copy that note over. Uh, the banded mail is too heavy for me right now, but is worth carrying, potentially. Although, it's not a high priority item. Depends what you compare it to. Okay, do I really have to go all the way around to get up there? Is that the is that the correct way to get up there? I think it might be. Goodness, that's uh, annoying. On the way back down, I might take a shortcut if I find one. Okay, I've missed a way through somewhere. I'm going to circumvent it by going across the water and then find it from the other side, probably. Um, a leather armor. Didn't I do detect magic on this level? So shouldn't I know? Ah, it's positive. Oh. Um, the plus zero scale mill um, can't be better than the leather armor if the leather armor is positively enchanted, because it's only one better than plus zero leather. Uh, so if the leather is only plus one, they're equal, uh, except not quite, because the leather is lighter weight. So I'm going to drop the scale mill now. Uh, but... Gonna have to identify a couple of potions here. Let me see. Oh, I've got a scroll that is no good that I can drop. Some people say those technically have a use, and they're not technically wrong, but they're not correct in a useful way either in my opinion they might have some technical use in some corner case but they're never worth carrying because you always have enough better items um, there we go I, I use calls because my memory is not perfect uh, to keep track of Oh, I'm levitating. That's why it routed me that way. Okay. I'll take it. Lightning is one of several things 
it trivializes conjurers. It's also uh, pretty good against jellies. Um, those are two of the really early threats that can actually get you. Heals are another, and lightning doesn't trivialize heals, although it's not useless against them. It's better than nothing. If you're going to die before depth 5, although we're on depth 5 now, um, it's usually going to be to one of those kinds of things. Oh, let me see here. Options. I mean, I could just tough it out here, but this tactical position isn't great, so I'd like to have an advantage. And I do need to identify some potions, so let me pick a random negative one. Okay. Why am I still going out of my way for useless gold? Brogue never bothered to implement shops, which is kind of a shame because I think they would fit in neatly with Brogue's um, vault system. Uh the amount of gold would have to be rebalanced, I'm sure, uh, or the prices would have to be balanced around the amount of gold that's typically available, more likely, um, in order to keep them from being overpowered. But I think that could be done, and the uh, Brogue developer is pretty good at balancing things, so I think he'd be able to handle that. So I'm not sure why he hasn't implemented shops. or why he continues to keep gold in the game if he isn't going to. There also isn't a religion system, so there are no temples where you can donate the gold or anything like that. Um, okay, quaff the strength. That broadsword's going to be super tempting. I should wait until I can magic detect it. Which, I mean, I could do now, but um, I've still got magic detected unidentified gear, so it would be wasteful. Um, okay. I hit both of those at once with that. I'm glad... That other jelly off to the west didn't see me because that could have been quite touchy if it had trying to face them both at once. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Why do I keep... It's, it's not in my nature to ignore an item even if I know it's useless. Um, okay... Here's a potion of life. That is not useless. Okay. And by not useless, I mean it's like one of the best things in the game. The broadsword that I've got isn't terrible either. Um, unless it's like the cursed broadsword of plenty or something. Okay. Time to commit. I see vampire bats, and with a plus zero dagger, I can't kill vampire bats because they'll heal themselves by taking stealing hit points from me faster than I can damage them. So, actually with the invisibility I just identified, no, I'm not going to be able to sneak past all four of them. One of them will see me. They'll get lucky. One of them will happen to move next to me and that'll be that. So these three scrolls are probably enchant. So I'm going to go ahead and enchant the broadsword. Okay.
and that'll mean that I will be able to drop the dagger at some point as well when I have inventory pressure again although I just spent three scrolls so that will be uh, non immediate here but it's surprising how fast sometimes uh, your inventory can fill up especially in the early levels okay the leather armor is only plus one, but it's runic, which is great. Uh, depending on what runic it is, I mean, it might be uh, a runic that's not so awesome. You know, like... Um, Like jackal slaying or something, except I don't think jackal slaying is a thing. I think it'd be more general than that, like animal slaying maybe, which would actually be good because animals include spiders and centipedes, I think. Oh dear. Okay. I'm going to remove the leather. And use the lightning couple of times and remove the sword and then punch the mound to death the um, only reason I was able to do that is because goblins congregate around an opening like that and don't want to come in after me one at a time uh, in that's usually a pain but in this case it worked to my advantage because it kept me from having to deal with them at the same time as the acid jelly. Or, not acid jelly, sorry, it was pink jelly. Uh, no, it was an acid mount, sorry. I... Ooh, the runes of my armor glow protectively. Does that mean it's dar immunity? It didn't get formally identified. But I think it's Dar Immunity. Um, okay, you know what? That's not the best runic ever, but uh, I'll take it. It's not bad. Uh, particularly the, if I get to the point where I start seeing battle mages, they can be a real pain. Um, and this would make them no longer a problem. Uh, even... Even the, uh, what's it called, the regular Dar, the ones I just saw one of, uh, Dar Fighter is the word I want to use, but that's not right. Uh, anyway, ev even those can be a pain, especially when it sends two of them at you at once, which it often does. Okay, I think I just saw... One of those things. Okay, hallucination. Might as well know that it's hallucination. Completely worthless potion. Okay. In some ways, it's a bummer that that acid mount fell off the cliff there. Because when I see it again on the next level, it won't be confused. And acid mounds, unlike a lot of the enemies you face... Oh, my broadsword's only plus two. I put three into it, so it was actually cursed. But oh well, I'm committed to it now. <laughs> It's, well, it's plus two now, so. I shouldn't say I'm committed to it, because if, say, this war axe happens to be plus three, it would be better. Although only slightly, because a war axe is, um, well, it has some advantages, 
but the broadsword is probably better on the whole than a war axe at the same enchantment level. Anything else I need to worry about on this level? No, I think we're done here. Let's move on. It's a shame that I had to commit to the broadsword when I did. If I'd had time to magic detect uh, and find out that it was negative, and if I'd had time to get the war axe, I could have uh, committed to it instead, assuming it's not also uh, a negative item. Uh, but sometimes you have to work with the information you have at the time, and I had to commit because those vampire bats would have killed me. Oh, boy. Oh, I lost my leather of dar immunity because I wasn't fast enough noticing that acid mound. I hate that. That's uh, I was pressing keys too fast, and that's my fault entirely. That probably means, nope, I was going to say probably means that I ought to go back up for the scale mail, but that acid mound was too much for me at that point. So we did not succeed. This is fairly typical for me. Um, I sometimes get a little, well, I often get a little deeper than that. I frequently make it to depth 10 or 12 and occasionally make it to depth 15. Uh, but I don't think I've ever yet made it to depth 20 or perhaps only once in Vanilla Brogue. I definitely have once or twice in G Brogue, but it's a little different in terms of its balance characteristics. So that is a typical run for me. Uh, I'm sure someone will have comments about what I could have done better or should have done differently. Uh, feel free, because I know that I'm not very good at Brogue. Uh, it's a hard game for me. I find it difficult. Uh, I like it, but it's I don't do well at it every time. In fact, I, I never do very well at it. Like I said, I've never yet managed to win or even get, I think, to depth 20 in Vanilla Brogue. Uh, I don't know how deep it goes exactly. I've heard rumors of like insane levels like 40 and stuff, which, I mean, as a level number, that's not insane because, I mean, NetHack goes to like level 50 and plus has branches. Uh, but uh, for Brogue, the idea at the rate that the difficulty increases, the idea that it keeps going to level 50 uh, or 40 even scares me to death. Uh, but uh, I have never gotten that far because it just gets too hard for me. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and leave comments on what I could have done better if you're a better Brogue player than I am, which wouldn't be that tough. Uh, and uh, perhaps I'll record some more of these. Um, this will be episode... Well, I mean, there's an episode I did before this that wasn't a contest game or anything. It was just a random seed, just to test my setup. And I'll probably, in fact, I think I've already uploaded that. But I'm going to call that like a zero or a prelude, and I'm going to call this episode one. Uh, so I will see you again in episode two when I get around to that, which may not be until next weekend at the earliest. And I'm not going to have time to do this one every weekend. I'm not going to prioritize uh, Let's Play of Brogue uh, so, because um, 
I have the another Let's Play series going of NetHack Fork that is going to be a higher priority for me. So um, at most every weekend, but I'll try to do some more weekend seeds from time to time. So uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you then.